Move it, troopers! On that double! Hey guys, this is Luke in the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be going over the events of the Siege of Mandalore that are witnessed in the Ahsoka novel, as well as predict on how we believe the final moments of the Amazing Clone Wars series will play out. Todd the other scoundrel will be having the honors in telling you what we sort of came up with. So anyway, let's begin. Since there will be four episodes of the Siege of Mandalore arc, we probably only know the very minimum of it, which is basically how it all ended. Darth Maul escaped from Darth Sidious and regrouped with the Shadow Collective and his other Crime Lord allies and held Mandalore with his forces. Ahsoka Tana would undertake a mission to end Maul's reign, who had just returned to Mandalore and contacted Anakin and Obi-Wan for assistance. Kenobi and Skywalker would not be able to join her, so Anakin sent Clone Captain Rex as well as some clone troopers of the 501st Legion to assist her, while they were sent to rescue Chancellor Palpatine, who had just been kidnapped by General Grievous during the Battle of Coruscant. The 501st clones that were sent to Mandalore would get a new paint job in honor of Ahsoka Tano. As the Battle of Mandalore began, the Republic fought with the Shadow Collective and other crime syndicate forces, and Ahsoka would clash in lightsaber combat against Maul, luring him into a plaza where the clones captured him in a ray shield. Their victory would be short-lived as Supreme Chancellor Palpatine issued Order 66. Now imagine this, the Republic is victorious and Bo-Katan Kryze, the sister of Satine Kryze, is appointed as the Regent of Mandalore while Maul has been captured. Ahsoka Rex and her troops are witnessing all this play out, and just at once, Tano senses a great disturbance in the Force, and in that moment, we see the reenactment of the issuance of Order 66 in the Clone Wars style when Palpatine sends out the order to the entire clone army. In a similar way that we got to see Yoda witnessing the future in the dark side cave on Dagobah where the clones are fighting the Jedi and where Mace Windu is fried by Sidious, we start seeing most of the Jedi that we have seen during the Clone Wars series that weren't seen in Revenge of the Sith. We see New Order 66 scenes where legions, battalions, and corps that we've watched during the Clone Wars series start attacking their Jedi generals in various different ways, while extremely emotional music plays, as it did in Episode 3. After a few New Order 66 scenes that we've never seen before play out, the scenes all cut to Mandalore where the 332nd starts getting the order on their comms, and once Rex realizes what he's hearing, he starts ordering his men to stand down, but the clones under his command are only physically present. Ahsoka ignites her lightsabers in defensive positions, while Rex is trying to convince his brothers to stand down. To no avail, a first shot is fired by a brainwashed clone at Ahsoka Tano and redirected straight at him, after which a new battle erupts. While in shock, Rex is forced to fight and kill his brothers alongside Ahsoka and the Mandalorians that fought to free their world. During the battle, Maul gets freed and Ahsoka has a chance to kill him, but chooses to save Rex's life instead. We can only imagine what music will be chosen for all of these scenes and how awesome it's all gonna look like. Somehow they escape from the conflict as an even bigger battle devours Mandalore. Ahsoka and Rex talk about what has happened in this belief while thinking of their Jedi friends Anakin, Obi-Wan, Plo Koon, and possibly some others. Because of her close connection to her Jedi friends, she senses something sinister has happened and is happening as the death of Plo Koon flashes on her screens, followed by Anakin killing younglings in the Jedi Temple with the Imperial theme echoing in the background. She and Rex decide to fake their own deaths, making a grave for both of them on a high place, leaving a note that here lies Ahsoka Tano and Captain Rex who both fought to their deaths against each other. She would leave her lightsabers on the grave while Rex took off pieces of his armor as some sort of proof. Then they run off into the sunset as they go into exile and hoping for a new hope one day as the screen cuts to Anakin flashing from his real self into his burnt body and finally into the suit that will be his prison for the rest of his life. The Clone Wars has ended. Anyway guys, this is sort of our fanfiction on the way we imagine it to all end, and even if it doesn't end the way we imagine it, or anything close really, we don't care because we just made this video out of fun and love for the Clone Wars. We're 100% sure that Dave Filoni will not fail us no matter how all of this plays out, because he never has. Anyway, remember guys, God is awesome, and may the Force be with you always, you rebel scum. This party's over.